<clears throat> Righty ho then. Let's get started and see if this doesn't work. Hmm. I suppose it's something to do. I'll just load the game from where I last let off. <coughs> where are we? We're in the lab laboratory. So I'm just going to start from here. My goal is to find the key. I want to be the very best. Die. Okay. Key, key. Okay. I don't know what that is. Anyway. Let's be getting on with this. Key. No key. Why no key? Why you know? <clears throat> God damn it, man. Right, okay. Back to the entrance hall. Just to see if there's anything. A chance of finding the key. This is where I can't go. Laboratory and wine cellar. Motherfucker. Let's try upstairs. No getting in there. Or there. Or here. Let's go to the arch Let's go to the archive. Something might be in here anyway. <sighs> Was that? Uh, fuck. <gasps> Tinder box. Still no key. Sixteenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. 
How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the Ooh. mother of us all. An Slut, basically. In its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. <laughs> Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Well, that was fucking enlightening. Feel destructive. Well, this door is slightly ajar. Can't be anything good. Ah! <sighs> I hate you. Oh, fuck's sake, man. This fucking piano. God, more oil. I'll go put it in. There we go. Locked. Right. Oh, fuck. <sighs> oh, shit, man, there. I was sort of saying to myself that I wouldn't get uh, scared, but um, obviously I was talking a load of shit. Oh, good Christ. <laughs> I don't like this. It's scaly. for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Oh, that's disgusting. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. Oh, man. Yeah. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. Oh. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. Oh. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. 
Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the oh. heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. That's horrible. It's like someone viv vividly describing, like, bomb sex. Die! Great, more tinder boxes. What I really need is a fucking key. Map of Prussia. Which is what Germany used to be called, by the way. Scary feeling when a game starts really getting to you. No. We caved in, didn't it? Local folklore. Alstad and Brennenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Alstad, deep within the East East Prussian woods. For centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbour, Castle Brennenburg. The quiet forest clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is as picturesque as can be, albeit, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Any, ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travellers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists and tales, but there are some motifs that keep appearing. The Gatherers. The story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It's said that the soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by the by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. Re 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 they move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. 
They are called gatherers and they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It's their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks, dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa as well. Actually, what I'll do is, if you want to read these, I'll pause the game. Well, you pause the... Sorry, you'll pause the... You pause the video. Okay. Motherfucker. Must be a key somewhere. Oh, I see. Right, let's try this again. How the fuck do you do this? Do you push it? You know, I'm just going to leave it here. It's, it's getting a bit late, so... Um, thanks for watching, and uh, see you later.